shalom, all praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you, I say Shalom, beginning with the 144,000 prophets. And Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, willing, this lesson is edifying. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5 in the GNT. But because of our sins, he was wounded. Beaten because of the evil we did, we are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. And who was he that had been wounded and beaten and had suffered and had taken blows because of our iniquities? And because of the evil that we did, who is he? And who was he? That he is our Lord and Savior, Yahawashai, who died on the cross in the flesh over 2,000 years ago. The son of the Heavenly Father, Yahawah. Yah means he, Hawa means exist or is. Yahawa is the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The power of all things, of creation, the ancient of days, and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahawashai, his name means Yah He Hawashai delivers or saves. And it was Yahawashai who had been wounded and beaten because of the evil that we did, we as in the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, or so called Negroes, Latinos. Native American Indians and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America predominantly and abroad. And what was the evil that we had done? We had broken the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. He went whoring after other gods that are no gods that do not exist as they are wood and stone. We indulged in unclean acts, including adultery, sodomy, bestiality, all manners of evil. Things that are contrary to the laws of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And that is why our Lord Yahweh Shai had to be sent in the flesh upon the earth over 2,000 years ago to die for our iniquities, beginning with his and his elect. But because of our sins, and what is sin? 1 John chapter 3, verse 4 tells us that sin is transgression of the laws of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And the wages of sin, the payment of sin, 
is death. And so a payment had to be made for our sins. And Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, his blood was that payment. And through his sacrifice, we were adopted back to the heavenly father Yahweh, beginning with the elect in this generation of the nation of Israel. Because two thirds of the nation of Israel will die, will perish, according to biblical prophecy. In this land, when the Lord destroys it, this land as in the land of America, Babylon, the great. And then they will come back as the children, as the offsprings of the elect in the Lord's kingdom that will be established upon the earth in the very near future. Lord is willing. Because our Lord has been hastening the days. And so Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, his blood, was the payment for our iniquities. And what is iniquity? Sin upon sin. But because of our sins, he was wounded, beaten because of the evil we did. So we are the ones that are at fault. We were responsible for all the evils that we had done. As a result, the Heavenly Father Yahweh had to send his son Yahweh Shai to die for our iniquities, to die for our sins, so that we may be adopted back as sons and not bastards to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. So Yahweh Shai's sacrifice is not something that we should be taken lightly. A lot of people in Israel, they don't worship Yahweh Shai. And they make light of his sacrifice. But <laughs> soon they're going to realize that, you know, they, they shouldn't have been doing so. Now as a precept, this is the book of Colossians, the first chapter, the 12th verse in a GNT as well. May you be made strong with all the strength which comes from his glorious power so that you may be able to endure everything with patience. So may the elect of the nation of Israel through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh be made strong with all the strength which comes from his glorious power. The strength to endure all the trials and tribulations that we are faced with. Even though, even though the Lord put us through it, He helps us to get through, through it. You know, get through all our trials and tribulations, man. Our low moments, especially our low moments. Even our very low moments. We have, but we have to keep fighting. It says, so that you may be able to endure everything with patience. The word endure means to be made hard. Patience means to suffer. And so we are made hard in our sufferings. We endure in our patience. And so the Lord has given us the strength through Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, to endure everything that we are faced with with patience with suffering and with joy give thanks to the Father Yahweh who had made us fit in the King James Version that word fit is meat alright now the word fit in fact let's get the Definition of the word fit just for edification's sake. Acceptable from a particular viewpoint. Adapted to an end or design suitable by nature or by art. 
So the Lord has made us fit. He has made us suitable. Put into a suitable state. So the Lord has put us into a suitable state through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice because now we are sons and not bastards. Now we are made ready. Being in such a state as to be or seem ready to do or suffer something. So now we are acceptable. Now we are suitable. Now we have been made ready through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. Now you have been made fit to shit to have your share of what? Yahweh, the Father, through Son Yahweh Shai, has reserved for his people, for the elect of the nation of Israel. Ultimately all Israel, but it begins with the elect in the kingdom of light. And the kingdom begins with Israel. The kingdom is within us, which is this knowledge. And who is the light? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. Our Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. He also said that he is the light. And the life. He rescued us from the power of darkness, which is sin. Because we have been subject to these chains of darkness, these bodies of sin. See that? And brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son, our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Through your sacrifice, by whom we are set free. So, through Yahweh Shai, we have been made set free from what? From the bondage of the law. And so now we are no longer justified by the works of the law, but rather through faith in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. But do we then make void the law through faith? The most I forbid, yea, we establish the law. And how do we do so? By rehearsing the righteous acts. Because you have a lot of Israelites out there that boast in keeping the works of the law, but they lack keeping the law of faith. Because anything that is done without faith is sin. And without uh, faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Because the just shall live by faith. And faith without works is dead. So Yahweh Shai, through his sacrifice, after the grace of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, has set us free from the bondage of the works of the law. Because the law is perfect, but we as being in this wicked, sinful flesh, are imperfect. That is, our sins are forgiven, right? So our sins are forgiven through the sacrifice of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. All right? So with that, I will conclude this lesson. I was praying for the Lord to bless me with a topic, you know, to do a lesson. It's been a been a tight week for us all so I, I thank the Lord for inspiring me with the Holy Spirit to do this lesson now before I close it I want to read the verse of the day this is the book of 2nd Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 but the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is faithful and he will strengthen you and keep you safe from the evil one right so the Lord is, is faithful and he will strengthen us and keep us safe from the evil one and who is the evil one Esau and what is it what is his agenda to cause all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead and for those that don't they're gonna pretty much shut them out of society and eventually start uh, coming down on them let's see what it says in the King James Version this is the the book of First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, excuse me, chapter three, verse three. It says, "But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil." So the Lord is going to keep us from evil, All right? And we have confidence in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. 
And what are those things and things that are written? So with that, I will conclude this lesson here. For the Holy Spirit to do this lesson. Lord, it has been edifying to the elect. And um, forgive me, I forgot to mention my name earlier in the lesson. My name is Kwan Um So with that, I say Shalom to the elect.